King of the Hill is wildly popular here in the UK. Do you make a conscious effort to ensure that the humor translates across cultures? So I was a writer on King of the Hill for many years. That's an original cell over there. Although I don't know why they call it a cell when I'm not going to sell it. Holding for applause and continue. Actually, it's quite the opposite. Uh, we didn't make an, uh, a conscious effort to make sure the humor translate. We, we tried to make the show as specific as possible and as authentic as possible. So the writers, we took road trips to King uh, to uh, Texas to absorb the culture. Uh, many of the writers grew up in Texas. It was, all, it was about making it specific. And so even though you in the UK don't know much about Texas barbecue culture, the show gave you a window into that. And that's what was interesting for you about it. And to be honest, the show wasn't about propane. The show was about relationships. And uh, it was about anger and love and jealousy. And you have all those emotions in the UK, except for love. How come you can't love? Anyway, uh, so all those things make it relatable. I think there's a misconception in Hollywood. You know, I'll try to pitch a show and someone say, yeah, but what is the main character? You know, what does our viewer have in common with the main character? You know, they don't have to have anything in common. I, I wish they wouldn't say that. It's like, what is, like, my, my daughter, her, she's a teenager. When she was a teenager, her favorite show was I Love Lucy. What is a teenage girl, she was watching the 70 year old show in black and white. What does a teenage girl have in common with the wife of a Cuban middle aged band leader and, and their elderly uh, friends? She didn't have anything in common. It was a window into that world. And so when you write, you know, think of it that way. Think of it making it specific as possible. Provide a window. Make it interesting. So you're not excluding people. I think people, when they write their scripts, they want to make it as general as possible because they don't want to exclude anybody. No, no, no. You make it specific. That's the gold. And have people, uh, you're, you're offering them a window. Uh, I, I talk about this in my, my webinar. I got a webinar coming up in early April where I'm going to talk about my, you know, the writing process and how I approach. So, you know, you know I, by the way, I don't always sell shows. I, I, I sell a lot of shows. But the only thing I can control, I can't control if somebody's going to buy it. I can only control the quality of my writing. And I talk about this uh, in my webinar coming up. So it's a free webinar. You're welcome to join. The link is in my profile. And I hope to see you there.